Hey everybody, it's Julie Mooch, and I have Miss Madison here today. She is a purebred Maltese, and we are in the process of growing her out into full show coat. So, she's a little shaggy, but mom always loves some creative color. So I figured I'd show you today how I do Madison. And I have um, kind of a unique airbrush system here that I got at Hershey, and it's through Angela Kumbi. So I think that you've seen this before, but um, for those of you that haven't, I just wanted to do another little tutorial about um, how to use this and how to apply color. And it uses blow pens. Now these are not your traditional blow pens that you can get, um, you know, like through Opaws, for example. These are through Angela's site, a creative collection. You can get, um, I believe, the airbrush machine and you, the markers are a different size and I'll show you how it works. So you'd have to get them through her. So today, we're going to be putting um, Madison's, um, her first thing we're going to, one thing we're going to do is put her up in a top knot, and we're going to be using the Swarovski crystals from Angela Kumpi's A Creative Collection. We're going to thread those in. We're going to do blue today. Um, you can also get those there. They have a, um, the crystal on the front, so you can see. They have a crystal on the front and an elastic on the back. So they're really cool to thread. Um, we're going to be using her um, airbrush machine. We're doing a light blue into a dark blue into a purple fade ombre into her tail. And then we will top it off with a nice hard um, top knot and a little hard elbows collar at the end. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this Madison around. We're going to do her tail first. Okay. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So I'm going to start with the lightest color in the ombre, which is going to be the light blue. And in this machine, you simply take the cap off and you insert the blow pen into the holder. And what, when I turn it on, I'll show you this, what you do is you're going to put your finger over the hole, air will start throwing, flowing through, you put your finger over the hole and then the color will come out. The markers have a tendency to be initially kind of wet, so you have to watch out for drips. So I just wanted to show you how I do this with Madison. Um, I don't know if she'll stay seated. She normally does. But I usually put a towel underneath her. Okay. And let's see if I can get her to sit. Good girl. Or lay down. Maybe not. Just She's doing what she wants. So this is recharge. This thing, this charges. So there is a port for you to plug it in, mini USB. Plug it into the wall and you charge it. The on off switch is here. Okay, shows your battery power. What'll happen is you see the zero percent. This is about airflow rate. So it goes to 20, and I know it's backwards for you 20, 40, 60, 80, and almost up to 100, and then down to 20 again. All right, so I'm gonna start with. The 20%, oops, oh, on 60, sorry. Okay, 20%, again, once I hold my finger over, see the color come out? Okay, so I'm gonna put this under Madison's tail to avoid any overspray onto the back of her legs. Put my finger over the hole to allow for the color to come out, and I'm watching for a drip, and I'm not seeing any, so that's good. I'm gonna do a little spray Bring out here. I don't want the battery to die. Now, you can't really see much there, but watch this. Once you brush, check it out. Okay, you can brush that through. Let me see where I need more. Again, put my finger over the hole on the pen to distribute color. Oh, yep. She's like, what you looking at? Take my finger off and it stops. Finger on and it blows. Okay, brush it through. This is very quick and easy. some of the hair out of the way. I'm going to put it up to 40. It'll give me a wider spray area. Help me get through this quicker. I should be wearing gloves.
but what creative groomer doesn't have a little bit of color on their hands hopefully every day see how that's what that's brightening up really nicely all right so I'm gonna part in here a little spray brush part the hair a little here spray And this pen is not dripping, like I said, um, it may be uh, because I've used it in the past, but normally I find that they are a little bit wet and drippy, but that's not happening this time, so I'm psyched. More color on the side here. Brush that in and over, get it out of the way. Gives me a part. to the other side. She's got a little yellow left in her tail from last visit with the darker color will help me to fade that out. Get that little, there she goes. There's the nice sit. Go over the hole, apply color. Watching my battery power. All right, I'm going to move into the darker blue. Put in the dark blue marker. You instead of Madison, so you can still see. Okay, there goes a darker color. Yeah, this one's wet, so you're going to see a broader distribution. See that coming through? Isn't that pretty? Remember where you're aiming. Of course. Now that it's not dripping anymore, but initially, all right, it did. Scooch. Sorry, I have a hard time holding on to that this way. All right. Finger over the hole, blowing it out. Brush it through. Take care of her other side. Oh, I did have a drip. Isn't it amazing once you brush it through how it comes out and you can see exactly where you got it? So it did drip on the table. I don't want her to sit in that. You have a big splash.
also helps when the dog is sitting naturally for you to see where you can get color once she's sitting, how her tail will lay. I had a drop there. I'm just going to brush it through. Other side. Looking good to me so far, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to switch, take out the marker, turn my caps. Um, recommended storage in a plastic bag so these do not dry out. You need to keep high humidity. If they do dry out, you can take the tops off, put a little drop of water inside of here to re-wet the marker. All right, not much. So now I'm going to do purple. Stick that inside. Once I get Madison's top knot in after the crystals, I may put some color there. So now we're going to do some purple distribution. All right, and I'm mainly going to focus on the areas that are not covered yet. To create that ombre effect. Okay, brush, here comes the purple. You guys can see without losing too much light. It's easier to move than you than it is to move Madison. markers drying up but I think I can get enough to make it through and have the purple show just gonna get it nice and close to make sure that every drop that's left in this marker goes on this girl's tail before it runs out there it is getting closer helps Looking pretty, huh? So I'll be placing an order soon here, Angela. So I'm gonna put the towel underneath her so you can see the color contrast. that I've created. I'm going to try and get some purple under here. Yep. Guys, this is really easy, okay? As you can see, anybody can do this. do right here is a little burst of purple up at the base for a little surprise. Let's 
see that coming in. Just get creative. Let your mind wander. This is temporary. Um, the yellow that you see left over, that's four weeks. She comes in every four weeks. Sneaking in some more purple. On the underside. Nothing wrong with having a little bit of the white of her natural color peeking through. It doesn't have to be completely saturated because she likes to change up her look every time she comes in. Last time she did like fall colors, um, yellow into orange. So there you have a unicorn tail. Trying to get her to <laughs> let me play it all pretty to fan it out for you. Hold on. Let's get her to stand up. What do you think, huh? Look at you. Okay, so we are back and I'm going to put those Swarovski crystals in Madison's top knot as we try to grow it out. I've trimmed as much of the, um, and I'll trim this some more of this after. We're letting her grow out. Even her, everything is going to be, we're hoping for full coat to the floor. But right now, when you're doing a top knot, you're going to want to pull the hair from the corner of the eye to the corner of the eye up. All right? So this is the part that I need to grow out. Now you got to make sure that you don't hurt the pup, of course. So right here in the center, my Mac is going to, of course, die here. So, one moment please while I plug Okay, in. so back to Madison. Now I'm all plugged in. She's a very good girl. I tried to change the angle to give you a little bit better view. So, we're going to try and grow this hair out. One way to do that and keep it out of their eyes is to use these very smart creations. I don't know if she created it or just this brand, but this is Angela Cumbie's, Cumbie's uh, a creative collection. These are Swarovski crystals. So you're going to take a small amount of hair. I'm going to start in the center because this is the part that I need that helps me guide from the inner corner of the eye on each side. We want to make these sticky outies not sticky outies anymore. So. Instead of getting frustrated by not having them a part of the top knot, we gather them together. They won't be in her eyes, and nobody's going to be trimming them at home. So I have the hair, okay, and I'm going to put it through the tip. I'm not letting go of her. Here, hopefully you can see on my hand there is the top. Here, see that up at the top? I'm going to thread the hair through and then bend it over. I'm going to bend it over it.
it's wicked easy once you get your hang of it. So the hair is in and I'm going to bend the hair down. Okay, you can see these are adjustable as well, so don't panic or freak out. All right, so now I'm going to slide one of the gems down. And it's got an elastic band on the back, so I'm going to take the top of it here, this top part that's thicker. And I am pulling the hair through the elastic. It is very easy. It is gentle. Once you get it through here, you can use your fingers to manually pull the rest up through. Are you guys ready for this? Boom. It's in. And those little sticky outies are no longer sticky outies. Now I am going to loosen that momentarily here. But you can see she's got that right there. Okay, and I will, like I said, loosen that up as soon as I get the rest of what's above her eyes. I don't want to grab her eyelashes, so be very careful and conscious of that. Now I'm going to grab what's over each eye. Madison, sit. 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 Good girl. Good girl. to the corner of the eye on the outside. I'm going to bring that in. So I know it's going to look like I'm pulling her eye, okay, because I'm pulling the hair around her eye here briefly, but don't worry. I will loosen it because if you don't, you guys, you can develop hematoma under the skin, all right? So I know what I'm doing here. I took a class with her, watched very closely as she did it, Took a class at Hershey. All right, so I've got a decent amount of her silky little hair in there, bringing it up towards the center. See, got that. Putting my hand on the top of her nose helps me give a little bit more control. And I'm just resting my hand right on the top of her nose. So again, got this hair gathered. I'm going to put it through, pull down, slide a gem down, the threading device. All right. I'm going to hold the gem. My hand is on her nose. It's starting to come up and through the elastic. Boom. Two. Yes, that's tight. Yes, I'm fixing it. This gives me room to play. Okay. One other way that you can loosen that, to make sure there are no hematomas, is to take a comb, gently lift up to make sure you don't have the potential for a hematoma to develop. Next one. Come here, baby. Hand on the top of the nose. Eyelashes, please. Okay. 
So bottom lashes out of the way. Lashes out. Don't want to lose that hair that I finally just got the perfect amount. Do too much and it won't go through the elastic. Do, through, do too little and it will slide off. Got my hair, putting it through, bending it down, okay, sliding my crystal down the threading device. Okay, holding the crystal, my hand is still on her nose, helping it come up through the elastic. All the rest. Boop. Not bad, not bad. Even. Okay, now, let me see what we've got here. I've got one crystal left. I'll make sure to adjust this. One moment, please. Okay, so. Now I'm letting her ears down. She might shake. That would be ideal. Combing. Let's see what we've got so far. Now I've got a far more larger amount of hair here to deal with. All right. Again, I'm double checking. Lay down, so That's it. And I've got this pretty little purple top knot bow. Sit. Not going to sit. All right, hold on. And on top of the nose, gently. I am not hurting her. So I'm pulling up from the corner of the eyes to the corner of the ears. I'm going to take a peek at what I've got to work with here. Somebody just walked by, so she nosy. Let me see. I would like to be able to get these three together with one gem. So I'm trying to figure out if that's possible because it's so short right now. No. Take some of this, aha. Uh -huh. The center and add it to what I've already threaded. Okay, brought that together. I think I can do a fourth crystal, so let's try it. the hair down, hold the crystal, get it over the hair. There's a little bit more hair here now because I've got all three together. Oh, but it's working. No sweat. Hold the crystal. Boop. Look, you guys. Let me fix this. 
So you see, I brought them all together. Now let me even this out a little bit. Make sure it's not tight. So excuse me while I adjust. Oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? Her mom is gonna die. So now I'm gonna put in this top knot bow. By the way, I'm not going to throw this guy out because I saw one break once on Angela and it's good to have another backup because you can put these gems right back on. for me. Okay. Okay. Um, a little stuck. Hold on. All right. Do it just that last. Oh, maybe not. Madison, can you move so that people can see? Yes, thank you. Let's do some adjustment. Oh my God, could you be any cuter? I don't think so, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look, just like I saw it in my head, and then look, I'm sorry. Come here, baby. Look. All right, so we're growing this puppy out. I'm not trimming it, and I'm not gonna color it. But I am going to spray it with some Hydra Grooming Style. I'm going to cover her nose and her eyes. And I'm just going to set her tail. I'm going to get my little barred elbows. Collar. For this beautiful baby. All right, guys, there's Madison's finished look as we grow out her top knot. She's bored. <laughs> I hope this helped. I'm going to put links, of course, in the description of where you can get all of these wonderful products. And um, Madison, not included. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. And um, if there's any other specific kind of tutorial you would like to see, please let me know. All right, this was fun. And um, it was new for me and this dog, so I'm glad that you got to come along with this on that journey, and I look forward to helping you get more creative um, in your own salon. All right? Much love. Judy Mooch, signing out with Madison.